Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a bonus reading for the sign of Leo. Um, you guys were the second highest viewers. Goodness, I cannot talk. You guys were the second highest views um, for this week's weekly reading. So I wanted to give, you know, do a little bonus reading for you guys. You obviously have something going on and um, obviously you got a little bit of insight in, about it in the weekly reading, but I wanted to... Um, if you haven't seen the weekly reading, go ahead and go ahead and watch that. Um, but I wanted to dive a little bit deeper and get you guys a little bit more detail and clarity about the situation with this person. Um, take a look at what you're feeling about the situation. Um, some advice for you guys. Some timing. Um, some messages from your person. And yeah. All right. Let's see what's, what my um, Leos are feeling about this situation. Six of Wands, Knight of Swords, the Hermit, the Nine of Pentacles. So we have the tower on the back of the deck. So there was something that happened between um, you and this person that crumbled the foundation of your relationship or there was just some type of chaotic situation, drama or something like that that occurred between you and this person. I feel like majority of you guys are focused on your own independence, single right now. We're maybe focusing on your career, um, your own stability. Um, I feel like you guys may be wanting to have success with this person, wanting a victory with this person. Um, I feel like there's something that you guys want to communicate to this person. Or you're wanting this person to come towards you and communicate with you or speak some type of truth to you. But maybe until that happens, you guys are in um, hermit mode. You guys are just working on yourselves, soul searching, um, just looking for clarity, um, listening to your intuition is what I'm getting. Um, so let's see what's going on with your person. What are they feeling and their intentions? The hanged man. So they're, they're thinking as well, but they're stagnant. I don't see them taking any action. I just see a lot of thinking right now, trying to gain perspective. Um, there, I just heard there may be, the hanging man can sometimes, um, deal with sacrifice. So I just heard this person may be thinking a lot about the situation because there may be something that they need to sacrifice to come towards you. The king of wands, um, they're feeling very passionate about you. They do want to take action towards you, or this could mean that they're going to be getting out of this hanged man mo mode, the stagnancy and, um, taking action soon. Um, they could be feeling a little bit more confident in the near future. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, they still haven't made a decision yet. They're still juggling. They're still weighing their options. What else? Three of Swords. Yeah. Ooh, you guys could be dealing with... They could be just feeling really pretty heartbroken. Um, We have the Four of Pentacles on the back of the deck, though. So they could be keeping this to themselves, that they're heartbroken about whatever happened between the two of you guys. Or with the two of pentacles here, they could be weighing their options as far as two different people. There could have been a third party. I mean, there is three bats. You know, obviously the three of pentacles usually has three people on it. It has three bats. Um, yeah, I feel like they could be trying to make a decision about who they want to take action towards. Or it could just be two different directions. I feel like this person is holding a lot in. They're trying to um, cling to any stability that they have. At this time, um, let me get some clarifiers out here. Yeah, I like this angle a lot better. You guys can see the cards really well. All right, what's the six of wands on my Leo's end? What's the six of wands? Yeah, I think you guys are feeling, having a lot of anxiety and worry about the situation with this person. I think you just want things to be, to improve between the two of you guys or in this situation. I feel like you, you really do want success. I feel like you may be sad because things did not go well between you and this person. Yeah, we have the four of wands on the back of the deck. So you may have been hoping that this was going to lead to something stable, long-term, marriage, family. Um, it didn't go that way. 
you thought this was going to be successful and it may not you may not be seeing that success right now and that could be weighing pretty heavy on you guys what's the knight of swords temperance yeah you want this person to come in and balance things out with you um reconcile apologize um, yeah, I feel like you guys are waiting for this person because the temperance card can also be about patience as well. So I feel like you guys are patiently waiting for this person. What's the hermit card? Yeah, you guys are, um, we have the five of swords. So there was definitely some type of conflict between you and this person. You guys may, may have felt a little defeated in the situation too. So I feel like that's why you guys are kind of you, you, you know, you withdrew from the situation. You guys are working on yourselves and probably also trying to heal from that situation. What's the nine of pentacles? Oh, well, oh, let's see here. Yeah, you're, we have the high priestess and then we have the eight of cups. So your intuition told you to walk away from this person. There may have been some secrets that were found out. Doesn't have to be, but oh, and then we have the six of pentacles on the back of the deck so yeah your intuition was telling you to walk away from this person because it was this person was it was a one-sided connection they were not giving to you as much as you were giving to them all right let's clarify the hanged man yeah i feel like this person is thinking and planning they could be waiting on something too they're thinking about the future, but um, I'm not seeing... It's like the Three of Wands is like a waiting energy. So it's like they're waiting for something. What are they waiting for? Justice. I had... This was playing... In, I heard it in my head, but I was just trying to get more clarity. This person could be um waiting on like some type of uh, divorce or like some type of... um court decision or something like that hmm but i feel like they do want to make things right what's the king of wands yeah they want with the six swords they do want things to improve they want things to become more peaceful but peaceful between the two of you and they want to take action to make that happen okay let's see here yeah, I feel like they do want a stable new beginning with you with the Page of Pentacles. They may not feel like they have a lot to offer you, um, but they know they have to make a decision before you guys can have that. Yeah, we have the Ace of Wands on the back of the deck. So they do want a stable new beginning with you. For I mean, a, a passionate new beginning with you. All right, what's the Two of Pentacles? Five of Wands. Yeah, they're very conflicted over a decision. They have not gained clarity about a decision yet. And it could be because they're waiting for some type of verdict to come in. Four of Swords. So they're just um, spending some time alone, thinking, healing, waiting. What's the Three of Swords? We have the Six of Wands. So I feel like you guys do ultimately want the same thing. I feel like they want victory in the situation. And I, with you, the, the six of wands is on your end too. So they want that as well. Yeah. So there's something, so we have the 10 of wands and we have the devil. So there's something toxic. There's some type of codependency, addiction, toxic situation that's weighing heavily on them. That's, um, there's some type of cycle that need toxic cycle that needs to be ended. Um, there's something that needs to be released. Um, we have the tower on the back of the deck. Yeah, it could be like another, what, what used to be like a previous connection. So we have the tower. We have the ten of cups. We have the hierophant and the death card. So, yeah, there's something that, um, there's like some type of old family situation that may have crumbled for this person. And it looks like it was a committed relationship. Didn't have, doesn't have to be a marriage um, it could be somebody that they have kids with, like a relationship with someone they have kids with, but, um, that needs to come to an end. Spirit saying that that situation needs to end, um, and they need to, um, gain clarity about that. They need to gain clarity. They need to be more, they need to, um, be more assertive. They need to stick up for themselves in that situation is what I'm getting. All right.
What do I, let's get some advice for you guys next. Wait, no, let me do, uh, let's do this. Let's get some messages from your person. Words do hurt. That card came out for the last reading as well. For the reading I filmed before this. I'm sorry. Yeah, this person wants to do right towards you because they feel like they said some hurtful things to you and they're they're feeling very they're feeling remorse for that now. What's the two of pentacles? Yeah. I still don't have all the answers. So they're waiting on some type of answer. To something they're wait they're still trying to gain clarity and then we also have you matter but they want you to know that you do mean a lot to them yeah we have they're waiting for something that energy has come out multiple times there's something that this person's waiting for you are wrong so maybe whatever you think is going on with this person um that's keeping that's the reason whatever you think is going on that's keeping this person from coming back to you to reconcile spirit saying that that's not the truth they're saying that there's something else going on there's something that they're waiting for and then we have you are right <laughs> what's that what's that i could be your So I feel like the you are wrong is relating to the wait. So um, the reason why you think you're waiting on like waiting so long, you're not, you don't have all the answers about that, but you are right in the fact that this person is going to come. If you have a hunch that this person is going to come towards you, um, that they miss you, that they have, you know, there's a deep connection between the two of you guys. You guys are correct about that. And I meant what I said. Take that how it resonates. I'm going to get one more card. Love is the answer. So yeah. I'm getting at this person. First of all, the you are right and the you are wrong could be just this person. This person is extremely indecisive. So it could be either one of those. It could be that too. But I feel like you were just telling this person that, you know, there's love between us. Like. That you were maybe telling this person that they should follow their heart. And maybe they couldn't really see that at the time. But now I think they're starting to move toward, you know, more in the direction of following what their heart's desiring. What's the Ten of Wands? I want a fresh start with you. So, yeah, they need, they're going to release something. Some type of cycle is going to end for them that was toxic so that they can have a new beginning with you. And, yeah, we have, um, I would do anything for you. So, yeah, they want... This person has a lot of love for you and they want something long-term and stable um, with you and they feel like you guys can be really happy. All right, let me get some advice for you guys. All right, advice for my Leos. Ten of Pentacles. Take steps to ensure the financial security of your children or other loved ones. Make wise investments or planning for retirement. Honoring family tra traditions. So I feel like Spirit's saying like right now you need to focus on your, your own stability. The chariot, success that, success that comes from dedication and self-discipline. Celebrating your accomplishments, being in the spotlight. I feel like the spirit saying that there's going to be movement in this situation. If you guys are waiting for, you know, this person to come back in, reconcile, that's going to happen. But you have to, don't lose faith. You have to keep your thoughts optimistic. You have to believe that you can have this 10 of cups with this person. You got to believe that you guys can have something stable, that you guys can let all the baggage go and just have something, have a clean slate. You guys have to believe that that's something that can happen for you guys. Um, they're saying that once you do that, you know, th there is a successful outcome in the situation, but, um, yeah, you have to be positive. Four of cups. 
being distracted and falling failing to see a magical opportunity take someone taking someone or something for granted discontentment with life hmm. so spirit saying that um don't be so quick to if this person does come back don't be so quick to reject them or don't be too caught up in your other responsibilities that you miss out on this divine gift that you know that they're giving to you let's see let's get one more card prince of winter seek see out oh i cannot talk seek out an intellectual solution to your problem the need to act quickly and decisively sudden or unexpected changes use your discernment when this person comes back in use your discernment always but um you and this person are really gonna have to be able to cooperate lay out and lay everything out on the table and come to some type of compromise to come up with solutions for this situation spirit wants you to know also that there's things are going to be happening pretty out of the blue it's going to probably take you by surprise when this person comes back in there's some unexpected changes coming. Ooh, sorry, excuse me, guys. All right, let's see here. Timing question. December. So December could be significant. Take action. October could be significant. Oh, we got, and we got Monday and we got the 15th through the 20th. And we have redirection. So yeah, this situation is going to be going in a different direction. Um, these December, I was getting that December could have been something that happened this past December. That's, that's significant. Um, that could have been maybe when you and this person broke things off. Um, doesn't have to be take it how it resonates. And I feel like the fall time in October is significant for you and this person as well. I feel like there's going to be some type of, um, action that's taken in the fall time. Some type of new direction. It could be a Monday in October, the 15th through the 20th. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.